Hello there. If you are one of those users who are experiencing the issue with insufficient space on your disk partition and want to expand the partition to get more storage space, but only to find the Extend Volume option grayed out, I'm glad you found this video. This video will walk you through the possible causes of partition extension failure, as well as solutions for these issues. Continue watching and find one that works for you. Here are five most common causes for extend volume grayed out. You can fast forward to the corresponding segment in this video to find the proper solution to your own case. In some cases, you'll have to get a professional disk management tool, like Ezos Partition Master. You can find the product link in the description below the video and download this partition manager to solve the extend volume grayed out error. Now, let's learn how to deal with these issues one by one. The first possible reason why the extend volume option grayed out is because there's no unallocated space on your disk, as you can see in disk management. If this is your case, you can simply use disk management to resolve it. Here, I will show you how to do it. First, you need to confirm whether there is important data on the current partition. If so, please back it up in advance. Then, let's get started. Right-click a neighbor partition that is empty and select Delete Volume. Click Yes to confirm the message. Then, right-click the target partition that you want to extend. Select Extend Volume and adjust the size that you want to add to the volume. Then, click OK to confirm. The second case is that there's no adjacent unallocated space to your target partition. In this case, you have to delete the partition next to your target 1, which is not an option for most users since there might be important data on it. Thus, I want to recommend Ezus Partition Master to you. This tool allows you to extend the partition with its Recizi Move feature. It also has the ability to format a partition, merge multiple partitions, convert MBR disk to GPT, which I will mention in case 5, and so on. You can download it here to experience its powerful features. Now let's take a look how to use Ezus Partition Master to extend the partition. Go to Partition Manager, click on your target partition, and select Resize Move. Drag the partition panel rightward or leftward to add the unallocated space into your current partition, and click OK to confirm. The process will be completed before you know it. You can also use its Extend with Second Disk feature to extend the partition with unallocated space from another disk. The third reason why you can't extend the partition is because the file system of that partition is not NTFS. Due to Windows limitations, disk management is not able to extend FAT, XFAT, and EXT partitions. You can format the partition to NTFS with disk management, of course. However, this will cause data loss on the partition, which is extremely risky if you want to expand C drive. Therefore, EZUS Partition Master becomes an excellent alternative. This tool breaks the limit in Windows, and you can directly follow the steps in case two to extend your target partition with ease. Another possible reason why you can't extend volume is the unallocated space is in an extended partition. Technically, it's called free space on an extended partition. Windows also doesn't allow you to extend a primary partition with free space on an extended partition, even if they are contiguous. Therefore, Ezus Partition Master is here to help, since disk management is unable to meet the requirement. Just as easy as before, you can simply select the target partition and choose Resize and Move or Extend in Ease Us Partition Master to add the free space to your target partition. Easy peasy. Case 5 is rare, but happens sometimes on an MBR partition. If you create a single volume that reaches 2T by capacity, the Extend Volume option will gray out if you want to continue extending it. You can convert the MBR disk to a GPT disk to resolve the issue. But it's better not to use disk management to perform the task as it requires deleting all partitions to convert a disk 
or it may not be able to do so for certain reasons, and I'm sure you don't want to lose your data. Thus, here we are, back to Eza's Partition Master. First, choose Disk Converter and select Convert MBR to GPT. Then, choose your target disk and hit Convert to start the process. Wait for a moment, and you will see the disk has been successfully converted to GPT. After this, you can go back to the operation in Case 2 to complete the process. As you can see, there are a lot of limitations while using disk management. Fortunately, Ease Us Partition Master breaks through these restrictions and allows you to perform partition expanding and other operations with just a few simple clicks. It is very friendly to beginners who are not familiar with computers. So, download this tool and enjoy the convenience now. If you find this video helpful to you, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thank you.